I recently uploaded plans for this helicopter here, and uh, it's fairly basic, except for one detail. It has bevel gears in the back. So, I figured I'd make a little video on how to make these bevel gears, because that's really the hardest part of the helicopter. The rest of it's fairly straightforward. Cut out the pieces, glue them together. But uh, that's a little tricky making bevel gears in a scroll saw. So we'll go through that process. Attach my pattern to a 3 8 inch piece of Baltic birch plywood here. Most of the lines on here are for reference purposes. Uh, as we cut it out at the later stages, it'll help us keep things aligned. So, we'll start out just cutting it flat, like you would expect. We'll cut out the shape of the gears, the, the circle, the outer circle. Let's take a quick look at how to hold the gear while cutting. Support it with a 45 degree wedge. Line it up centering between the gear teeth. Cut with the work at about 55 degrees from the cut path. Once again, I'm trying to line up this inner line straight up and down. I'm going to hold the piece at 45 degree angle, which will be a straight cut in with the line, straight in line with the blade and it's at 45 degrees. And that should give us the taper we want on both sides of the tooth of the gear. Try to cut straight in. Then I find it helpful to make a little turn at the end. That'll help disconnect the piece when you go the other way. Going this way. And we have two teeth with very nice tapers on them. Line. You really got to eye up things well. Grant you, you, you do lose a little bit of your cut path, but you can kind of see as you cut. You just kind of use your eye. And just keep going around. That taper wasn't as good. Hopefully I can adjust everything sufficiently with my files to uh, fix that. Consuming, but if you take your time, you should be able to get pretty good shape on them. If you notice, they still don't mesh very well. I guess they technically would work, but now we want to sand and get a 45 degree angle on our edge here. For that, I'm going to use one of these sanding strips that fits in my scroll saw. I certainly could do that on a, like a disc sander or something like that. 
But, uh, this is quick and easy, so we'll do that. close. It's actually good enough to work the way it is right now. But I like to uh, round out the, the grooves on the bottom of here on the inside. But I might, might leave it like it is. To work out the gear operation I simply got a couple pieces of wood glued together at 90 degrees with the holes drilled in at appropriate, appropriate distances. Then I have uh, my dowel I just made a slit in the dowel and put a screw in to kind of hold it snugly on one side. They both don't have to be snug for this test. So you just want to go in here and turn fairly freely. In the finished product you're going to want a looser, looser fit than that or it's going to be hard to turn when it's humid. And we'll just kind of slip this up from the bottom. Have a washer for a spacer. And, uh, Push it through. At this point, I haven't uh, tuned the teeth or the gears at all, other than the sanding I did on the scroll saw. What you want to do is go through. Certain ones might not mesh as well. Just kind of mark them with a pencil, and then just kind of file and adjust till you get a good fit. As far as how it lines up, you know. A lot of times I would file kind of going the other way with the wider side and widen the bottom and widen the bottom of the groove up a bit so that you'd get a tighter mesh here. Um, on the helicopter, see it's meshed a little tighter. And of course a smoother operation. You can see that it's kind of a, a little more rounded in here. But uh, even as it is, they work. They actually don't work half bad. Sometimes having, if your spit is too loose, the gears will catch. You know, I have a little play here. But when they're tight together, they spin pretty good. But if they're too tight, then you get friction from that too. So you have to find a, a nice happy medium spot where it runs pretty smoothly. Let's see if you too loose. So you'd mark right around there and maybe round those a bit. But really that's more of a if it's snug, it doesn't do that. And that is how to make bevel gears with scroll saw. Oh, my stick's coming out, that's why it's slipping. <laughs>